I ran a Crosscal Wars test before, and all my variables here, which were collected with Likert scale data, are non normal. So I need to use non parametric tests to analyze them. Let's run through that. And I'm going to use gender as my um, grouping because that's nice and easy, nice and small. So I've got two groups there. I'm going to use the man Whitney test because that is two different groups of people. Let's go through. We go to non parametric tests, legacy, and we can say two independent samples. From here, we can put in all our variables we care about. Um, I'm going to put in um, just value for money to make life nice and simple. And the grouping variable I've got is gender. So I'm going to define the groups as one and two because I know that male is one and uh, female is two. We might have a variable which has more than one and two. So let's choose um, age, one, two, three, and four. So in that case, I would choose maybe two and three or one and four. It's easy, but I'm going to choose gender because it just makes the example nice and simple. So non-parametric, legacy dialogues, and two independent samples. So I pop this in again, and value for money into the test variable and gender as grouping variable, define it as number one and number two. Click there. Now I've got a few things here. I'm just going to go for man with the U test. There's other things I can do, but everything's fine. The exact, I leave exactly where it is. Options, I make sure that I get descriptives and I want um, cases test by test. That is nice and click OK. This is going to give me everything I need. So first I can see I've got 304 people, which is very nice. And I got a mean for the whole thing. It doesn't really mean very much for us. So we can look at this and see that test statistics, we have a significance of 0.001. Actually, it's less than 0.001. So we've definitely got something going on here. There's a difference. And we can see here that um, you know, we've got 39 men and we've got 265 women. We know there's difference, but we don't know what that difference is. So for that, we need to go and do a little bit more work. So analyze, compare means and means. For the pendant, I'm going to chuck in uh, value for money. And the independent, I'm putting as gender. Again, I can go to options. Um, I want the median um, because that's what we use for non-parametrics. I don't need um, mean, I don't need standard deviation. You can leave it in, it wouldn't make a difference, but I'm keeping things simple. Style, absolutely nothing to worry about there. And bootstrap, nothing to worry about there either. So click OK. And we can see from here that the average, the, the so the median for males is six and the median females is five. So on a, on a look at scale from one to seven, um, females are slightly positive and men are a little bit more positive and that is a significant difference. Now we do have a small sample size in that which we need to take into consideration but we are going to be quite happy with that overall.